Hello everyone, welcome to The Big B. Today I'm going to be discussing something known as a graphical interactive experience, shortened down to JIX. And join with me today, I have Christoph, who will be going back and forth with me in discussions and giving you more detail as to how JIX works and where JIX fits into the current market. So Christoph, what would you like to say about the JIX platform that you are aware of so far? Um, well, the JIX platform is quite unique in that there are other uh, programs or softwares out there that are available. However, with our software, um, it's highly, highly, um, how to say, in terms of being detailed or, or tailored to your needs. Okay, yeah, that, that's definitely um, a good point to make. And for, for those of you who may be unaware of what we're discussing about or talking about, what JIX allows is for us to take, whether it be a sketch from an architect or whether it be images taken from online resources within an actual existing environment or a conceptualized environment. Once we've received those images or that bit of material and content, um, the Coded Arts team is able to put together those assets, as we shall call them, and recreate, or in some cases, create a virtual 3D environment that an individual is able to fully interact with. And when I say interact, uh, the, how, this would, how the platform would simply work if, let's say, you're on a laptop, on a mobile phone, a tablet, or whatever the case may be, whatever type of device, in some cases, you can port, it can be ported over onto virtual reality. Um, you can sit down in your home and you can have a virtual interactive experience of the environment in question. So, for example, let's say you have an office and you want to see what the office space may look like before you start getting your, the construction, before the construction starts and you have individuals building walls and setting things up. You can recreate the environment or create the environment in, within the JIX platform and you can walk around and see how chairs would be located, what the office rooms may look like, what the walls may look like, how the lighting may feel, um, and just what the general environment may be like before any form of real money is put out into the development. Yeah, and with regards to actually us modeling the environment, all of this is done to scale. So if it is that you have your blueprints or you have the idea or you know how tall you want a wall, um, that is done to scale, everything is done to actual measurement so that if it is that the contractor wants to come in and utilize this further or um, in association with the blueprints, they can, they can have a better understanding. Also like colors of wall, those are done to specifications of a color chart. The lighting is done with regards to um, industry standards and, and UV lighting uh, codes and, and all of that. The texturing that we do um, on the chairs, on the, on the wood finishing of a table is done actually with re real, um, real, 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 real assets. Real assets. Yeah, that real, we real, utilize real the life. test and yeah. see how the comparison is to make the experience as real as possible. And now, when it comes to the time frame and our turnaround time, that's um, something that we are very impressed of at Coded Arts because, depending, well, obviously, it always is going to be depending on the scale of the project and so forth. Um, if, let's say, it's a very minimalistic office space, with that could hold between 40, 30 to 40 um, individuals and on computers and so forth, we are able to make it as minimalistic as possible design-wise or as realistic as possible. Um, as, as Christoph was mentioning, the lighting, the textures on the table and so forth and whatnot. If it is that you look at the bottom of this uh, blog, uh, this, sorry, this podcast, you'll see an example of what we did for the business incubator of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. And all of that was done within the space of uh, those two weeks. Two weeks. Those two weeks. Everything. Um, it's not available for you to actually utilize and experience. If it is you would like to experience uh, that ex that that particular one, you can get in contact with us. We can set up a meeting. We could and, and give you a real life demo of what it can do, and actually give you a more explanation as to how it can uh, fit within your needs or your your desires. And so, just to finalize things here. Um, it's we aren't only just limited to that particular environment if let's say you are interested in a service similar to this you can get in contact with us 
um, via our Facebook page. You can send us an email at info at coded-arts.com and you can get in contact with us. We always have very timely responses and we could introduce you to the platform, how the platform works and maybe just take things a step further. If you are interested in anything else that we have to post, you can check us on Facebook, which is facebook.com dash forward slash coded arts. You could also check us out on YouTube. You just simply search coded arts. And we are also available on Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus for any of those, any of you that um, may seem to still use that platform. Thank you so much, and we will be back next week.